taxi. In a way, I think we're, we're, even though we might not be considered the same animal, yeah, yeah slightly yeah. different. Yeah, you're the slow one, I'm the fast player. <laughs> uh, if if you were considered that way, we we, we have a sort of like a, we've had so much excitement from the game mm. that perhaps we need a bit of a buzz. <laughs> so like, what else would you have? You've been skiing? No, I've never done Jeez, skiing. Do it. It's brilliant. Really? It's, it's so great. It's a different class to a summer holiday. I think running a marathon would be my sort of uh, my oh, really? sort of slow down my snooker, yeah. What's the most you've done? I, I think my, the way I'll do it is I'll go and live in Kenya for six months, train properly, and come back and try and win it. <laughs> no. But, you, but you try mean, and like do like 240, 250. I'd like, like to under do three hours. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to do yeah, I'd like if three oh three oh five, I'd three oh three I'd go, you know what, that's okay. Yeah. But 303 and under, I'd want to go. So try and break the three hours would be something fantastic to do. So that would be something that's good. I'm looking forward to Kenya. trying. Kenya? Kenya, yeah. Kenya, you feel the best gazelles. Yeah, well, that's what they do. In the morning, you just stand at, on the corner of a street and then you'll, the, there'll be like a 20 or 30 runners coming along and at the front of it will be like the two like Olympic champions, current Olympic champions. Right, dragging and you just, along. Yeah, and you, just, you sit on the back of them and you hang on for as long as you can. And gradually and gradually you get faster and stronger and fitter. Really? Yeah, and I've read a book on some guy that done that and I just thought, that's me. I want to do that. I want to go and live the life of a runner. I think that's something, that's definitely a bucket list of mine. Yeah, yeah. To go to Kenya. I can, I can vouch for a parachute jump. Really? Yeah. If you want to, if you want to scare oh, the living daylights oh, out yourself. Oh, I don't know if I fancy that. No, <laughs> no, did I? I'm not good with heights. How did you get your head around? Sort it's of, horrible. How did you get talked into that one? Well, well did I did that. I had to. I, did it was, you? Uh, I was a celebrity. I had to. Oh, was I it in the jungle? Yeah. Ah. Oh. I've always fancied Big Brother. Really? It's just around the M25, so there's only two junctions. Okay, I don't think you can travel home at night, though. No, I know that, but I'm just saying if you decide you've had enough. Big Brother. Just, I could be home in 45 minutes. Do you think you'd fit the bill? Yeah, I do know what you have to do. If you go on those programmes, yeah. you have to be, because uh, I did it even for uh, I'm a Celebrity, you have to go and see a psychologist. Oh, I'd fly through them. I know all the right answers for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve Peters put you oh, right. Oh, no, I've seen so many psychiatrists, psychologists, I know exactly what to say. I'll be fine with that one. <laughs> We've got something in common. We both, we both do a radio show. Yeah, at the same... At the same radio station. Yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix FM, FM yeah. 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 Oh, that's good fun. I see, I'm, I'm, like, I'm just following in your footsteps. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, I don't I think I see so. you play snooker. I was like, I'm yeah. copying you everything you've done, the way you <laughs> sit, walk, the way you drive. I'm, I'm actually a no, stalker of yours. Yeah, you can't, you can't copy everything. You can't I've copy being boring. I've, you can't do the boring bit. No, but even that, I think, is quite good to be, um, <laughs> have that character, you know? What's, you know? Exciting just sort of brings in, well, not I think being exciting, a, but... I think being a radio presenter after a while, you'd probably go, oh, I'm, I've sort of done it now. Yeah. That's the yeah. problem, isn't it? Yeah. And in a way, that's the problem for like long term for sort of say yourself or anybody in snooker is how do you replicate the excitement? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. so much of a buzz and it turned up for the world championship. Is it though, Steve? 17 oh, days? Did you did you feel I, I find it a lot of stress and pressure. I find when I'm playing it's fine, but it's just the waiting around. I just think oh, Yeah, it God, is, it's yeah. Like, well you have to wait around for those just, just odd moments of that, panic. Yeah, and yeah, and then you get that fleeting moment where you win it and you're in the zone and you're flying. And don't get me wrong, that's an amazing yeah, yeah, feeling. Yeah. But 17 days of it, you're like... You it's a, it's a war of attrition. Yeah, it's a yeah, war of attrition, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but, but then toward the back end of it, is a lot, you're playing nearly every other day. Yeah, the first yeah, part. you still got... I mean, I've been 16, 8 up in the semis thinking, this could go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, like, hey, that's not a nice feeling. You know, well, I should be thinking, I'm 16, 8 up, I can't lose this much. But I'm sitting there thinking, this could still go wrong. I don't know, it's just a crucible. I think it just does it to you, doesn't it? Yeah, we all, well, a, listen, we all go slowly mad in the world. Snooker players go place. slowly mad. Funny place. Hey, listen, thanks for that. I've got to get you out, because I've got, I've got other fans. You've got loads, you've got other fans. <laughs> 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 oh, wicked.